So the trebuchet was constructed around 2004, 2006. Uh, there was a big contest out in Delaware that the World Pumpkin Chunkin Contest, and they would have all these different air powered and uh, different type machines that would uh, hurl pumpkins. And one that really uh, piqued our interest was this trebuchet. It's actually a French siege machine, and uh, it works off of counterweights. So when we pull the, the, when I climb up to the top and pull that big beam down, uh, we're lifting up those orange weights. And those orange weights weigh somewhere around in the neighborhood of 1,500 pounds. Then the way it works is there's a pouch with one uh, end of the, one cable fixed to the beam and the other cable sits on a ring and there's a pin that it goes on to. And as the beam is released and the weights drop, that ring goes flying off that pin right at the precise moment as the pouch is coming around. And as that pouch then comes around and that ring flies off, the pouch opens up and allows it to fly forward. It looks very simple. It's very uh, tricky and there's a lot of, there's actually quite a lot of things going on and happening all in a few split seconds. I'll tell you a funny story about the first time we, we were test firing this thing. Uh, we had spent all summer long building this uh, trebuchet. Um, it was dad's big project. And when we went to go and fire it, uh, there's this pin. The only problem is we didn't know which direction that pin needed to sit. So what ended up happening the very first time that we fired the pumpkin... The first pumpkin did not release from the pouch. It whipped around and slammed against the, uh, the other side of the beam and just blew into a million bits. Uh, we decided to turn that pin uh, the other direction, and then we just decided to test again. We pulled the pin, watched it fly. That pumpkin went straight up in the air, you know, 300 feet straight into the air, and it stopped and then it started to come back down. And when that pumpkin hit the ground, it burrowed itself a foot into the ground. And we had never seen anything like it. And we decided that was the last time we were gonna try and fire pumpkins down by the house. So yeah, so in like the, oh, if we built this around 2005 or so, so in the 18, 19 years that we've done this and if I launch off, you know, five or six pumpkins a year or a, a weekend every day on the weekends, uh, we've we've probably easily launched. Uh, I know for surely we've launched over a thousand pumpkins. And amazing thing about this is, I may have done over a thousand pumpkins, but just it never gets old. It's all it always puts a smile on my face every time.